Um, oh, I've got a double camera up there. Hi, hi, double camera. Just gonna get rid of the double camera action. Um, let's see here. There we go. Great. So yes, today um, I thought I'd try a little something different, seeing as I'm off work for a day. But um, yes, so I'd like to give a drawing a try and see how this goes on stream. And if I fuck it up, well, won't be doing that again. <laughs> so what I've got going on, oh, I forgot about the uh, little thing here. I need to have my comments up as well. I might actually set those up on screen for everybody. 2C, no, well, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. Is this, I'm using the Hour Studio today, um, just to play around with this, and see what happens. But yeah, what I'm, hey, DWB, what's going on, man? What's happening, what's happening? Sorry, I'm just getting used to where the camera is, I keep looking where the camera used to be. Um, but yeah, I'm doing well, thanks. And just just about to get into some warming up, so I'm going to try a different type of uh, stream today. Ooh, how exciting! Yeah. I'm going to have to come back and watch as I'm headed out soon, but I'd love to see your artwork. Well, thank you, Molly. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just about to start something, but first um, I need a warm up. You know, I, I warm up before I do it. It's hey, like any athlete, you got to do off. some stuff to warm up. Yeah. So yeah, big hugs to D. Um, so my planned artwork for day, today was actually just to do a little birthday card for my lovely lady whose birthday is tomorrow. So um, she'll be the same age as me. She would have caught up after being younger than me for a few months. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Congratulations to my lovely lady. Um, but yeah, the, the camera's going to probably fall around the place and do all wobbly shit because I've got to switch it. I noticed that if I draw on that piece of paper... I can't see Molly. <laughs> oh, what? How come you can't see Molly? Um, why can't you see Molly? Holy crap. Uh, I don't know why that is, DW. Um, but yes, yeah, she's there. She is there. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I'm going to switch the camera from that position where it's in to the drawing position, which I've been working out for the last hour and a half, trying to figure you out how to do it. <laughs> oh, DW block Molly. So with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this, and um, this goes here, like this. Oh, can it? Is it gonna stay? And if you can or can't hear me, just let me know. I I haven't I didn't actually test I it in this make position. Sure I didn't screw something up. <laughs> yeah, you better you better DW. Yeah. So yeah, usually with my warm-ups, they're pretty straightforward. I just do circles. I do circles with my right hand. And circles with my left hand. Oh, and the camera falls. That's what I was talking about. This is probably going to um, fall down a lot. I can hear you fine, my friend. Oh, that's good. Um, I just don't want it to keep falling down. Like, the integrity of Blue Tech shall win the day. Um, so I've, yeah, I've got the camera Your stuck camera to my. Is it sure is. It sure is. It's because it's held there by Blue Tech. I didn't didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to uh, duct tape it there. I've got the. Uh, I've got it attached to my. Um, to my easel. So yeah, all this is doing is just getting getting everything in the right position for me to draw well it's, it's just basically training my brain to get back into drawing because to be honest I don't do it every day anymore except for at work you can tell I'm left-handed because you know the the left hand is <laughs> a bit better a lot better than my right but as you practice with both hands you, you really upgrade your um, your strong hand now, I don't usually use these sorts of pencils. These are. Well, oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably still be going if if I get. 
Oh, look, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'll probably go again. I'll probably be going for hours, so you might catch me when you get back, as long as I don't get interrupted by life. Life has a tendency to interrupt. Um, but yeah. Mr. Moore, your judgment is impeccable. Thanks for subscribing. Oh. Ah. You see, um, Mr. Moore subscribed to me earlier today. I subscribed to him a while back because uh, I like some of his videos. So, yeah. But really, this is just a warm up, just to get the feel again. I'm just using these crappy old 40 cent pencils. Is that going to fall? That's going to fall. I really need to sort something out to hold this there. Um, some sort of nice clip or something. So, like I said, this is a test stream on drawing. Uh, drawing live stream. Uh, I know a few other artists that do, do some stuff here on YouTube um, live. Well, not live. Uh, they do recorded stuff. But Zaku, he plays a few video games. Oh, Love yeah. <laughs> Yes, for sure. <laughs> no, I'm trying to use my... Oh, man, this thing is going to upset me. It stuck there for quite a while when I was doing... Oh, it's probably because I've got that there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We might be making progress here. I am sorry about the uh, jerky video stuff. <clears throat> It needs some sort of ledge in the middle that, you know, if I had a ledge here, it would hold it a lot better. Out comes the, uh, the screwdriver and a few bolts. See, trying to do it with your right hand is really difficult. Makes you think, but it actually joins, um, joins, strengthens the connection between your left and your right brain. Because obviously your uh, right brain controls the left hand side of your body and your left hand controls, uh, the left brain controls the right hand side of your body. Which sounds like perfect logic when you think of how contrary and mixed up the universe is. So there we go, just basically warm up. Get the, uh, get the feeling going again. Oh, once I've done that, you know, it only takes five, ten minutes. I can actually start drawing something. Now the idea for this uh, birthday card, yeah, <laughs> she loves frogs, so you know, obviously, this is. Um, I'll have to write it backwards. My uh, lovely lady. Oh, and she might be back already. So, so this is. I always start with a, uh, yeah, a brainstorm. Basically, she likes frogs. Uh, that's backwards. Sorry, guys. Let's try and mirror that. Hey, go, 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 go. Far out, my hand is not too good. Frogs, okay, so frogs is number one. Um, we've got, what else does she like? Blue. Is that backwards? Yep, sweet. I can never tell. You know, I can read inside out, inverted, upside down, backwards, backwards and inside out. Um, but uh, I can never quite tell if something is inside out, backwards or back to front. Because it all looks the bloody same to me. It just doesn't really matter which way around it is. Um, now, next thing. What else does she like? Um, she likes flowers. Yeah, most girls like flowers. Specific types of flowers? Hmm, that's a good question. Flowers and then um, what other? Oh, she had yeah, blue, white, and then what's her other bloody favourite colours? She just has a ton of frogs, so there there is that. Music stuff. Oh gosh, she likes music. Um, yeah, well, she she likes a ton of flowers. So, yeah, of course, roses. We've got roses in our in our garden. The one that I have told her she's not allowed to do anything in because um, she destroys the roses. But um, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I've got a few ideas to already. Hey brother. Hey pig, bo pig goes moo. How's it going? Nice to see you in the chat. 
I'm just designing a birthday card for my lovely lady for tomorrow. I'm gonna have to, if I don't have a, uh, yeah, if I don't have a reference photo, which I'll, I'll just pull up a reference photo for a frog, because I'll, I'll start with that. Because, you know, I could draw a try and draw a frog from memory, but honestly, it'll never come out as well as a real frog would. So, um, I want one of those I magical blue back. frogs. Blue frogs, da -da. And images, please. Thank you, internet, you wonderful thing. Holy shit, that is one blue frog. Um, yeah, he was massively blue. Does he want to be looking at the camera? When you're thinking about um, composition, you got to think where the where the you know what the symbolism behind each position of things are. So um, for a birthday, oh, is he coming towards you? Is he going behind you? Are you passing it by? Maybe you know maybe the idea of passing from left to right. Right. So a, a side on. Poison dart frog. Those look cool. Yeah, yeah, they they do, eh? They bloody bloody do. So I'm going to pick a side on um, one of the entire frog, please, if if you would. Thank you. There we go. There's, there's a good one. Um, yeah, I don't really like that photo. Pretty good, sir. You grin. <laughs> there you are. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. See, I was not entirely prepared. I like to just do take it as it goes. Hey, that's a better one. Um, Otherwise, I would have had a few of these set up beforehand. So I got my reference photo there on my old Smash phone, which is why I had to buy a new one. Um, and then I broke that too. So I need to buy a new one again for like the third time in a year. I'm bloody good at breaking phones. Either that or they make them really bad. So there's my reference photo. I was going to use a computer, but nah, fuck it. So, da -da 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 -da. and of course it is one o'clock here. I better not have, oh yeah, I better not have that there just in case somebody calls me. And then they'll be like, oh, he knows such and such. I know him. No, I'm just kidding. That wouldn't happen. But at least you can see the see the reference I'm, I'm working from. And this one is just going to be a draft. So basically, let's knock out a few shapes here. He's got a tummy there. You've got your uh, legs here. Because I usually get it right on the third time around. So I'll do a draft and then I'll do a second draft and then I'll do the um, actual. Just to, you notice that your, your eye will pick up something and then you'll think, oh yeah, that's how it looks. But it doesn't actually look anything like that. It looks nothing like that at all. So it's not until you look at the picture as a whole at the end of it and go, hey, that, that is weird. That is so bloody weird. Why did I think it looked like that? You go back and take a second look, you know, trying to trying to gain fresh eyes. Uh, it, it's something that, you know, it's your brain is always trying to trick you into um, it's telling you, or at least it is inventing most of what you see um, from memory, from past experiences, uh, things like that. So you, you sort of have to fight your brain to actually notice what's truly there. And this happens a lot in real life uh, at, that I notice to a lot of people, uh, where you'll wind up um, not seeing something that's right in front of your eyes until it's way too late, and then realizing that you didn't see it. So yeah, that's bloody strange stuff. Um, perception, I mean, is strange stuff. I just want to get basic proportions here. I'm not, I haven't positioned it on the page where I wanted to, and I'm not using a proper pencil. I'm just using this whack it out bloody cheapy. Once I move on to the uh, a proper, I use mechanical pencils. You know these these bastards, they need sharpening all the time. Mechanical pencil just needs a click or two, and you're away. So the patterning is going to be probably the hardest part. So what I'm doing is just knocking out the shapes, hitting on all the light and dark parts that I can find, and um, and then then I'll go back over and enhance the the dark parts and and add a bit of texture and stuff like that to it. But a texture and contrast, I I should say. Um, now. 
I really, I really don't like these pencils because they're inconsistent. Like you'll get um, a soft spot in the carbon and it will wind up looking bloody idiot. Silly. Bloody silly. Anyway, these sh these frog feet are freaking weird. I can see why a lot of um, horror movies take from um, nature because you look at something like a frog foot closely. Then you enlarge that and you put it on something with teeth and you have a very scary situation forming in front of your eyes. Hey, get out, get out. There we go, get out. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, yes, little feet for frog. Um, can't see his back foot, unfortunately. There is that is not how his his eye is actually larger than that. And he doesn't look that angry. It just happens to be a bit of um, a bit of a pattern on his eyelid that I've picked up and got run with. And it's sort of got the Kermity face face to it. There is something wrong with his nose. It's very reptilian looking this Music amphibious. Pokemon has frog feet for hands, lol. Oh yes, he does. He does. Good spotting. Good spotting, buddy. Yeah, see that the patterns. That is gonna be bloody difficult. So I'll just focus on the light and dark, the shadows and light here. If I can. It's very subtle in this photo, so I'm pretty much going to have to use creative license and my knowledge of shape, tone, and, and the way light falls on things to try and fill in the blanks here. That tummy, he's got a bigger tummy than that, and it goes down on a sli slighter angle, and his leg's a bit larger. Right. This is all dark here. This leg is the darkest out of the three, so I'm just going to block that all out. This one's sort of in the blurry shadows, but I can guesstimate where that's going to go. Our frog's ass. Okay, what is going on on his back? That is weird. He's got these massive... Um, it, it'll be hip bones, obviously, but they look really pronounced in that picture. There's actually a um, leaf in the way, so I'm going to have to cut the leaf out. All these little, these sorts of problem solving things um, happen a lot when you're. This is already looking better than most of my drawings, inspiring me to pick up a pencil again. Oh, that's cool, man. Who is a cat in Freezer Fusion? And Freezer Fusion, oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, bonky, oh, bonky, oh, oh, bonky, oh. Nice one. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm just draw drawing a little bit uh, for a birthday card which I thought I might do today might even get to paint it later but this is just my draft my draft I'm doing a doing a basic draft here to start off and then I'll, I'll work out the kinks from there holy cow it is nice sweet now my little froggy good little frog you can really see the uh, the paint on this old. Well, I can really see it, but you can't. You can't see that how imperfect it is. Oh my God, it's so imperfect. Uh, just the shading. I can see the ridges from the um, from the table underneath. Usually, I'd I'd be working on um, a different setup than this, but for this purpose, for doing a stream, it um, I had to set it up like this using the PS4 camera. Because I couldn't get comfortable holding uh, my drawing board. Little froggy. He's going. He is a happy little frog. He's happy. About to poison dart somebody in the face. But yeah, that little bulbous bloody thing here. Come back, frog. He keeps going dark on me because he's on my phone. Now finally, I can um, balance out a bit of the shading here. Just add a little bit more in. Then I'm going to go over with some text, uh, some of that patterning that he had going on. Where's the dark spots? Come on, come on, come on. Where's the dark spots going to be? Constantly, constantly sort of thinking about what, how the light falls on things, on different shapes. 
I'm kind of thinking frog, frog, frog for some reason too. Oh, let's just bash that, shall we? Oh. You get out of the way, you're in my way. Bloody Toxic thing. Toxic. Toxic croak. Oh, nice. That must be a, um, a, what do you call it? Um, oh, he's got another thumb there. Oh, another thumb. It's another sort of phalange. Yeah, I think these, are, this is actually blurry in the photo. His toes are blurry. It's hard to find good photos in five seconds on Google, isn't it? really need to take your own photos. I usually do um, go ahead and take my own photos, but I don't have access to a uh, blue frog uh, here in New Zealand. At least if I did, I'd probably be licking it. No, just kidding. Psilocybin frog. That would be, uh, that would be a bit weird. It'd be trippy, I betcha. So, yeah, um... I do have a rubber. The fact is, ugh, why bother? Why bother? It's just a draft. Now, he's got tons of speckles. This is his tummy here. Why did I put that there? Let's just shade that all in a little bit just to cover up the mistakes. That's what most art is, is covering mistakes. <laughs> Every artist does make mistakes. It's just, yeah, how good of an artist you are is how well you can hide them. No, with or without a rubber, doesn't really matter. So then we have a frog. Now I wanted a frog on this card. And some nice, um, yes, I'll need some something like a frog. Oh, she's, yes, that's why we don't use that one to write with. Frog witticism. Um, yep, hang on, hang on. I'll get I'll get the hang of it. Yeah, I was about to go the wrong way there again. Frog witticism. Yes, something that a frog would say on your birthday. Just to be a cheeky bastard. Uh, yeah, flowers. No, roses. Yes, roses. Frog witticism. Hmm. Yeah, yes, yes. We need some sort of frog witticism. KBYP. Hey, De Rock. How's it going, my friend? Drawing a frog. And I was going to do, you know, a nice border. Some Something, um, I think I'm going to do one of those corner borders. So it'll have a couple of these. And then some spirally lovely things. I wonder if I'm going to, I'm going to go for a sort of moldy flavor design. That's the, the rock. Oh, yep, yeah. okay, and I need my other pack of bloody lead, don't I? Where did I put that? Uh. Reminds me of Kermit, and now my voice heady. <laughs> he does. Smile. He does. So, yeah, for the border, I was going to go something ornate, but not too detailed yeah if you catch my drift and i'm gonna have to do this in ink and paint i believe and i'm gonna have to do it in the fastest time possible which is gonna be absolutely fun because as usual i don't leave myself much time i like to do things on the day it's a really wicked angle to try and draw on too yeah, something like that. Nah, don't like it. Scrap that. Back to the frog. So his patterns. How am I going to do these fast? And, you know, these, sort of, these patterns are sort of made out of circles and shit. They look like Mandelbrot set, set um, patterns, really. But yeah, there, there'll be a pattern to it. Like, there'll be an algorithm, a natural algorithm to it. And once you find it, I think I think if I just think frog spots over and over again um, and try to keep them as random as possible, they should come out pretty sweet. Because I can also, always just give them a once over. Uh, see, they sort of interlock like like um, 
ancient stones do. Uh, yeah, ancient monolithic stone buildings. How they've made those um, amazing pyramids and walls and stuff out of these interlocking stones that you can't even slip a razor in between the cracks, you know, that sort of stuff. These are obviously much wider than that. Oh, honk you too, you bastard. Somebody's honking out there, what a honker. Oh, yeah, he's got large spots on his back. Which of course, continue forever and ever. I want to use this baby, it's a bit more... It's a bit more serious. That's a 0.5 actually I'm using, isn't it? That's the 0.5? Yep. I usually start off with a 0.7 for, um, for drawings, but... I misplaced it. I probably put it in my pocket, it went through the wash, and it is now fucked. That's usually the case with me and 0.7s, because I use them so often in my um, in my sculpture and stuff like that, that they get a good thrashing. They get thrown around, beaten up, lost, broken, and, um, and often stolen too. Lots of people like to steal them, because they, <laughs> I usually buy like 30 or $40 pencils. <laughs> this one here was actually only cheap I think it was about $18 so but they work fine they work just as well as the $40 ones it really just depends on the quality of lead that you're using in your pencil no I any miss window. my old drawing days I just turned them into drinking days now <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh yeah, well, I don't like rush drawings, but I do like a good scribble. You know, I, I wouldn't mind actually just doing something freehand and just getting back into it for a second. But as long as I can get this little froggy's froggy idea stuck into my brain, then I can come back to it and do it in a jiffy later. So I might not actually do the, the final on stream because... This is really uncomfortable to how I usually sit. Usually have it set up a lot higher. Um, you know, there is a whole bunch of little um, things that you need that you need to be able to do in, in drawing in order to, you know, that's another thing. That's why I missed my board. Hang on, I've got a plan B. Plan B. This tiny table. Um, yeah, this tiny table would be great if it was flat too. See, I'm just I just whinge a lot when I'm doing art. To be honest. <laughs> it kind of gets smaller as they go that around. That ring to the looks like it's choking your thumb. I couldn't draw with that. <laughs> That ring is, yeah, it's old, it's busted. It's, um, my mother gave this to me before she passed away. So a couple of weeks before that. That's why it's it's pretty wrecked. I haven't, oh, I've taken it off a few times, but, you know, um, yeah. That's why it's still on there. I'll get it, I'll make a new one of a, um, of silver in a similar design. Once this one wears down to nothing. Um just has strong sentimental value but yeah it's not no it's no longer ring shaped anymore because when you use a wrench or a hammer there's certain things that uh that bloody bend it so yeah and that's where i smash my finger with a hammer so don't don't be too upset about it and check out the tan line it's just amazing yeah amazing tan line there <laughs> yeah Yeah, it was just one of those things. We were walking down the street in Pai here, and and um, geez, it would have been 2017, uh, April. Uh, it would have been March, around my birthday, I'd say. So, yeah, we're walking down there, and she goes, "I want to get you another ring." I'm like, sure thing, Mum. Let's go pick one because there's a there was this lovely uh, little uh, jewelry sale. She, sales place in um, on the middle of the street not in the middle of the street in the in the middle of the main street um 
but not the not the road obviously but yeah they had this tiny little shop there and, and they'd always have the most amazing little little trinkets and stuff that you could buy and take away for like 10 20 bucks um, you could reinforce it though eh? my buddy makes rings and when he streams he widens them with his machine if too tight yeah yeah well that's they are silver's really easy to work with you know I've worked with it before um, when I was doing some uh, when I was doing training for art down in Wellington we worked with silver and a bit of bronze casting but that's all I really got into I then I, that's when I found stone um, and I thought stone was just amazing to work with because you can get all your frustrations and anger out on it that's, that's pretty crazy there we go we have a uh, poison dart frog sideways and a poison dart frog the, the, the other way no it's actually called a oh, I don't know if it is a poison dart frog it's a bloody bright blue he's another scam biter freaking. but his job is making rings out of coins quite interesting oh yeah oh cool I do like um, upcycling materials no because obviously money's worth nothing no I'm just kidding don't go throwing your money away, people. I think that's illegal in most countries. Or burning it. That's bad. I do like how you don't own the money. It's written right there on the, on your dollar bill. Says, this is property of the Reserve Bank. Now, who are you reserving it for? My God, who is this Reserve person? Sweet. So there we have a frog. Oh yes. Oh, definitely. Need one of those. They're also useful when you're wanting to travel invisibly. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have the frog idea. What else do we, we wanted? Some flowers. Oh, we wanted some flowers. So I might use that same piece of paper. I still a rose. Now, unlike people. Um, you know, inanimate objects are a lot easier. But I, I find that the most difficult part about drawing is actually converting three dimensions to two dimensions. Um, it's like, a, it's easy enough to copy from a photo, okay? Because it's already been converted from 3D to 2D. When you're converting something like in real life back to um, back to two dimensions, it does it gets a lot harder. So... If you are, you know, if you do want to draw something, go out and draw something from real life, and then you'll find it much easier to draw something from a photo. Uh, roses, rose, rise? No, no, no! I said rose. Damn it, rose. Go. Wonder if there's a blue rose. Oh, there's a black rose, isn't there? I better stay on Rock's good side. Might get one of Thaw's weaker rings and be a general in the Rock squad. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you'd be uh, part of the dwarves or the uh, the, the dwarven kings or the pictures. human kings. You was al oh, always good at copying pictures. Yeah, yeah. I think I was never that great at it. You know, I've never have been awesome at copying pictures, but I can invent them. I can make them out of nothing. So it's a bit different. A friend of mine was amazing at, um, oh wow, look at these blue roses. Holy shit, they look fucking cool. Um, he was amazing at doing copies of, of pictures. So this is the blue rose I'm going to use. Yeah, that thing. That looks bloody awesome. Um, but yeah, he couldn't come up with something straight out of the kit. I'm doing the dwarves to be the tallest around. Yay, go five foot two. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how, how tall you are. That's how tall my mum was. <laughs> no, she might have been five four actually. Ah, uh, sweet. So with these ones. Be a hobbit, they wishes he was an elf. <laughs> Be a hobbit. He wishes he was an elf. <laughs> Right, okay, here we go on a rose. Oh man, the, these these always mess with me because where do you start? Because I'm a 3D artist, you know, when I look at something like, like this rose here, 
I'm actually looking at every single petal, the shapes that they form when they connect together. So I'm like, as long as I start in the right spot and do the right sort of basic, basic starting shapes, I should be away laughing. Sorry, L-O-T-R is my all-time fab movie tongue out. Oh yeah, it is, it is one of my favourite movies ever as well. It was definitely a big, um, big um, jewel in the crown of New Zealand movie making. Uh, without that movie, we wouldn't have so many movies being made um, either here in New Zealand or indeed out in, out in other places by New Zealand filmmakers and directors. Uh, one, of the, one of the things I find really difficult about drawing things like roses and, and, and flowers and frangipanis and, is actually the proportions. Because you'll notice that in every living thing there is a certain balance of proportions even though every petal is individual and it's and there, there is a certain harmony. Um, Fellowship of the Trilogy, Dot and I found out watching a video, it's Elijah Wood's Fab of the Three as well. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I could probably... I Have you guys seen my other drawings? I'm imagining an elf that self-identifies as an asshole. <laughs> Fellowship is my fab <laughs> Elf that <laughs> self identifies as an art school. <laughs> Holy shit. That was brilliant. Laughing DW. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you some of my Lord of the Rings style drawings in a second here. I'll just see if I can knock out a couple more petals on here. Because um, I need to get the feel for this drawing. Because later I'm just going to have to knock it out in one fell swoop. Which is going to be fun in a way, but it's, that it's never makes easy. Me a that identifies as an elf. <laughs> hey, I, oh, I caught up with sparkles. Um, while I was in a, a random Seven Days to Die stream, with yeah, just a new guy. I was I was just going through um, hunting down some new streamers and stuff just to put on my list of people to talk to about the game and whatnot and um yeah i bumped into sparkles who i often used to see in life as a game but i realized now that i see him again i haven't seen him in a while um and he said something about being banned and i was like hmm okay well he did throw a few stones at in, a, in glass houses the last time i saw him there but um, yeah, did you, uh, did DW, uh, did you and DWB notice that or have any information about that? Obviously, it's very trivial stuff, but just occurred to me while I was, um, sitting here drawing this rose. Elven women are the sexiest, so I could support you on that rock. Oh, yeah. Elven women are definitely the sexiest. Arwen was one hot mama. Shit, I better not have said that too loud and then next minute my lady comes in and I I'm dead. In a while. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was just watching them this morning. And then when Sparkle saw me saw me he was all like Um I object to life as a game. <laughs> like oh, really? I object to objectification, I said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. BYP, just say I said it for a cover tongue out. <laughs> yep. Man, this is this is looking weird. See, I kind of didn't get the proportions right, and even with the smallest amount of deviance from the actual picture, you can really unbalance the harmony and beauty of nature i tell you and as a um, as a specialist in noticing imperfections uh, yeah it really drives me nuts <gasps> driving me insane there we go that one there it just doesn't this just does not look big enough here let's go let's go bigger 
trying to look at two different sort of areas of hey look how does how the hell does that go what is going on there love it love it i do miss drawing i need to play 7 dtd again been playing dvd with many streamers creates funny content thaw. oh yeah i bet yeah I, I really i've seen everybody doing um dead by daylight and i know it's free but even though it's free, I'm still I'm still not any more interested in it than when I saw it the first time. I, you know, I was actually quite interested in it the first time because basically I saw this guy fixing something and I was like, hell yeah, do you fix the engine and, and it does something? But no, you fix the fucking engines and then, oh man, I'm like, oh, this is, oh, and then there's Freddy in it. Oh, it's a merchandising, pl oh fuck, you know, so I, I really just. It's not free anymore, BYP, sorry, that was last month. Uh, it's still got a, in my library, I'll still be able to use it. Um, yeah, so as long as you download them to your library, I mean, as long as you put them in your library, you can download them anytime, as far as I knew. Unless they've changed that too, and then I'm fucked. Right. Yeah. So that's why every month I go, oh, did it, shit, did I do it this month? Anyway, I go in every month and, um, and just add them to my library, even if I don't like the game. So I've got, you know, like 60, <laughs> no, not 60. Um, I've been with PSN for three years, so that's three times 12, um, which is 36. So I've got about 36, maybe 60 games. There's two a month. I even get all the crappy ones. So, oh, now I've lost me fucking rules. Come back, rules. Um, can I save that to my phone, please? Can you can you give it to me? Just like, just give it. Oh Collect my god. Them each month, I get it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yes, take that photo. Thank you. Oh, that's that is. I don't know why. It's like even a, even though a guy, it doesn't. Doesn't offend me to look at something like a rose and go, "Hey, that's that's beautiful." Didn't know about the month free game until DVD from Crow. Oh really? You poor bastard! I knew about it right at the start because it was like, I'm getting PS Plus because I want free games each month for um you know seven ninety five uh, here at seven ninety five a year uh -huh. uh, a month, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, here at seven ninety five a month, and I was thinking two, you know, one or two free games a month for seven ninety five is not bad at all. I didn't even think about multiplayer games. I thought you could pretty much play all multiplayer games online without a PSN um, network account. Um, but then I think I tried it on Minecraft when somebody asked me, you know, can I see your world? I'm like, yeah, sweet. And I found out, ah, no, you need, you need PSN. So um, luckily, I already, you know. I'd already gotten it, but but had I not, I'd be I would have been third. Sweet, so uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thing with this, you know, this is why I'm gonna have to do it in in color because doing stuff in black and white. You really can't distinguish between the, the the dark outer rims of the flower and then the uh, the shading, the actual light and dark, which you can do with paint. See, oh my god, I'm such a slow painter as well. I'm a slow artist, really. So I only produce maybe thirty or forty drawings a year, and um, maybe five or six paintings, and about twelve sculptures. Some of them are pretty large though, so I, I can understand those. And the sculptures take a month each. Um, the digital stuff is pretty quick because, you know, digital art is fucking easy. It's bloody bullshit. It's making it, it's simplifying it for the people that can't actually fucking draw. The cool part um, about the free games is that you can add it to your library while free and download any time later. That's right. Yeah, that is the cool part of it. As long as you've got PSN. You know, I think, I don't know what happens if you happen to um, lapse on your PSN. Uh, I don't know whether they retrieve all what they took or what. Um, hey, look, what's going on here? This is actually, a, is that another petal there? There is another petal there. Right there. Then a third bigger one behind it. 
So yeah, it could be any sort of rose, any coloured rose at this point. I'm bloody holding that thing. Fucking annoying. But yeah, I have certain conditions that I, I need to meet. for a bit, couldn't play anything of the free stuff, even offline. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean like, when you come back, when you reconnect your PSN... Not a big difference if it's a game like DVD that requires online multiplayer. Oh yeah, of course. Um, so when you come back in and, and restart your PlayStation Network account, are your um, games still there? Oh damn, all of a sudden I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I want a cigarette, holy crap. They are, yes. Oh cool, oh well that's good to know, that is really good to know, because uh, I was trying not to let it lapse just in case they all disappeared. So I was paying it for it beforehand, yada yada yada, uh, where's all the darkness in there, that is, that, it's always going to be darkest right in where the petals go. Light actually bounces off other things, so you have to be uh, pretty adaptive to where you want to put the light, uh, put the shadow, I should say. It doesn't actually happen like that, it happens in um, gradients, depending on angle, shape, fucking a thousand other things. I did my thesis um, at, art um, at art school on light. Nobody thought of doing a thesis on light. That way, you know, I could do sculpture, I could do drawing, I could do painting. Every part of it is is to do with light. And I actually use scientific methodology to, to try and calculate and, and work out lighting scenarios so that I could build my own drawing from scratch. So. Now we're almost up to that point where I can say, okay, I'd, I'm quite happy with that draft. And now I'm I'm actually drawing really super hard here. It's nice to have this um, the screen actually, because I'm looking at my um, my television screen as well. It really shows off where I'm not I've not pressed hard enough. Because if if you um, want to bring something forward into the into the foreground. You're really going to have to make it darker, and in particular in comic books, they'll make the line thicker because obviously, you know, most of the lines in comic books are are solid black. So, um, but yeah, that's actually quite light in there. I don't know. I started shading that. Must be getting carried away again. Because yeah, I'm a, quite an intuitive artist. I don't really stick to the I'm rules really all the time. To get my bro and friend to buy 7 DTD to play together. I think I saw y'all playing Diablo 3 yesterday, VYP. Yes, I was. Um, I was playing it with my son. He um, he wanted to try a new game, and so I chose the the most child friendly game I had in my <laughs> in my game library. So um, yeah, me and him jumped on there, and we were having a game of Easy Diablo 3 together. He was loving it. He didn't want to eat his dinner. Um, I asked him multiple times, Is it, would you like to, you know, I had it right there in front of him. He's like, no, no, I don't want to eat my dinner. It's all softly mushed up because of his dentist appointment on Monday. But um, he was not keen on that. Then it came to bath time, which was, uh, which was around 6.30. He was not keen on bath time either because he said he was having too much fun playing Diablo. Okay. He was the magician and I asked asked him to name his uh, character. So he called the um, the magician Giga. <laughs> That's G-E-G-A-R. Giga, the magician. And then <laughs> I asked him what he'd like to name my... <laughs> warrior and he's like cuckoo gaga <laughs> like really <laughs> so our names are gaga and cuckoo gaga <laughs> he usually doesn't speak that much baby talk but that that was intense that had me in stitches 
It's like, fine, I'm putting in Cuckoo Giga. <laughs> you little crazy bastard. Must be my son. He's that bloody crazy. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, well, um, of course there is. A, there's a few uh, multiplayer bloody trophies that I haven't got on that too. So yes, we should do that sometime. My yeah, my PS3 still goes after all these years. Some of the buttons are a bit weird sometimes. Sometimes my guy runs a little to the left when I don't mean him to. But otherwise, it's still working. I can still play the thing. And I've got like six, like, no, I've got eight fucking controllers in this house for the PS3s. Because we've actually got three PS3s in the house. Two in box, well, one in, bo one in a box. One in one of the girls' room for a DVD player. And, you know, she doesn't actually play it because she's not the girl gamer like her big sister. Oh, wait, I remember seeing PS3. Would PS4 version work? Oh, crap. No, 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 definitely not. I don't have that one. Yeah, I have it on PS3. Because, yeah, Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls is on PS4, isn't it? There we go, something like that for... I'm going to cut this out. Really hard. This is this is how some people draw. I, I don't draw like this usually. It's just, I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it today. Because, yeah, I've had, a, I've had a pretty rough week myself. That's why I took today off work. Um, just wasn't feeling right, you know. It happens from time to time with people like moi. So, um, yep, took the day off work, stayed home. And back to my meditation, which is uh, doing a bit of drawing, a bit of art. Try and center myself, gather my chi, ready for that next fist pun punch through a wall somewhere. But yeah, I find it very therapeutic, and um, I used to use it as a defense mechanism too. When I'd go out to places and parties and stuff that I wasn't quite comfortable at, I'd just I'd pull out my drawing pad and just start drawing either people or yeah, whatever was I in my head. Why I didn't message ya. I figures PS4 version wouldn't work. WITJ PS3. Sorry, BYP. I can't help ya with trophies. Sad. <laughs> nah, it's all good. That is all good. There is a ton of people that still want to play me on PS3 that haven't upgraded to PS4 in like the two years that I've been on PS4. So I just I just never get on there enough. It means I usually have to plug in the five meter cord and, and run it across the room to the big TV because I can't stand playing on the uh, on the 36 inch. Sorry, bad thumbs, not typing words out right. <laughs> Sweet, there we have, here we have a little rose there. It's not very defined, I don't like it. This is why I spend a hundred million years on these sorts of things. But yeah. Now, you were talking about Lord of the Rings. What do I have in the way of Lord of the Rings stuff? Um, probably not much. Probably not much in this one. There are a few Lord of the Rings type things in another. Um, just some basic stuff here. This one got, I spilled tea on this one. It was just a sketch, you know, maybe five or ten minutes of a dream I had where these cars were all magnetic. They're like, yeah, they just hovered there. The roads were magnetic or at least charged magnetically. And they had like uh, these different sections and they fired off and propelled the vehicle along it's it was common knowledge it's just like how everybody knows how a combustion engine works not everybody can fix them but everybody basically knows what they do. scribbles scribbles you know this is where i start drawing stuff it's just a scribble no more scribbles just ideas action poses that sort of thing No, no guesses for who that might be. Um, yeah, geez, just this is where they all start. I I have tons and tons of these these books. 
<laughs> yeah, you yeah, can do it. Um, that was me trying to decide one on a new haircut once upon a time. So I like the pigtails. That that one really, I really like that one. <laughs> but yeah, I'll find something more seriously finished because these I've usually got bugger all in in these books because I pull them out and then I'll track them somewhere else. Um, a bit of a map of a city. So this is Arkhamus Village, um, part of the the storyline. I've actually redesigned the whole thing, so this was a very older, much older version of it. Um, this was a Gemini temple. These are all from my story in which Viperin Halgod features as part of one of the stories in the first, in the first book. Because the first first book is basically all the legends of, of the story I'm writing. Um, and so I had to build places and, and people uh, are, that revolve around those legends. It's basically retelling some of the, the times of now and then also um, reiterating about other myths and legends that we've seen. More dream stuff. I found my, finding mirrors in dreams is always fucked up. If you've ever found a mirror in a dream, they never quite reflect anything just right. More dream stuff. Fighting zombies. I don't know if you can see. I'm doing, um, I've actually done quite a few books. There's, there's um, 12 in the first, in the first, um, I suppose, wouldn't be story yeah there's seven books that range from from seven different perspectives there's an opening book then there's there's the consequential books that came after it leading up to um, book 15 they're all around well, a few there are a few thousand words actually and they require about 150 drawings for each one um, of which I've been slowly building up and they're all in pencil at the moment, so the sucky thing is I wanted it in colour. So I'm going to be putting them all onto the computer and then going from there. But I'll pull out some of the ones that are actually finished. Now you can see those. I used to write my dreams down when I wake up because I had some interesting story ideas. I should do it again. Oh yeah, that's a good place to start. Um, you know, the, there's a 16th book, which is in two parts, and that one is basically just a dream interpretation manual for anybody that wants to help interpret their own uh, their dreams and stuff like that. Uh, this was actually the best I could do in 1999. Oh, don't whip it, don't whip it. That would, be piss, that would piss me off. Um, so yeah, you can see how it's it is bling and shiny. Helps with lucid dreaming too, rock. It I sure does. A story idea two months ago, but I forgot said. But there is just tons of crazy stuff going on in here. Just absolute tons. Um, all little pictures, big pictures. There's bodies without heads. There's heads without bodies. Punching violence. No, I was the, the rage at that time. No, it wasn't really the rage, but. Oh, zero, oh, I like. Yeah. That one took about 140 hours, maybe 160 hours. Um, that's a black and white photo. Uh, this a copy of a photo that I did a sculpture. A large um, chainsaw sculpture. I've got other photos, but that just kept my pop in there. Uh, tattoo design for a big guy. Uh, uh, books. I, you know, illustrated a few children's books in my time. Uh, I think I missed a couple there. No, no, that's just. Oh yes, I missed quite a few. More children book stuff. Girl from my art school. Places. That's the um, the library in Wellington. In about 10 minutes flat. <laughs> uh, that's facing the other way. The, the library is actually behind me in this picture. Um, and 
young lady from my art college. There was, there's, you can see there's a few other people drawing around. We had all gone to this place to, to draw for the day. So I think that one was more like 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Um, this one, oh geez, that's upside down. Um, this one recurs often. There's quite a few drawings of that. It actually started out as a piece of, um, like, I had paint on my palette, left over from a, from a painting I'd done, and I looked at it and I saw this guy in it, so I copied it out, I drew this one, and I did it again later. Some abstract stuff. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, no I'm not. Uh, my old room, you can tell how old it is from the state of the art technology and the stress ball. Um, because man, yeah, that was a pretty cool computer back in those days. It's like all I had in the whole flat. Like I had a bed, a computer, and a stress ball. <laughs> and a desk and stuff like that. Uh, more of those... I remember I had a crush on the G in real life in art class. She liked me, but I was too shy at the time. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the girl in that picture back there, she actually had a crush on me, but she was like six foot tall like six foot two or something she was huge perfectly proportioned but man I only I'm only five nine five eleven on some days but yeah not too not as not that fucking cool uh, more places uh, I haven't elaborated on that one that I think that place is called Valeur in in the um, book or it might be cross there's two cities right next to each other and I was kind of trying to draw both of them at the same time you know easy for the year she beat me lol oh damn it <laughs> this this one i like but there is a crucial error and when when i drew it at the start there's a proportional error for one and then there's actually a perspective perspective yeah, okay. error but um it it came out okay most people don't pick up on it but like i i look at it and go holy crap that is just terrible Anyway, you've got to keep the bad ones. That way you remember how, you know, how, how far you've come. Ah, invention number three. Uh, just a clamp and a couple of um, old clutches to make a 360 degree clamp. <laughs> so that I can hold stuff and bloody carve it with a chisel. Uh, I found out it's not an invention. Lots of people have come up with those. They're like 150 down at Walmart. Um, drawings, abstract stuff. Um, it's the, yeah, it's the hips and the legs. The, the angle of the hips is not quite right. Um, this one is sort of a dream journal entry. That, uh, yeah. So th that's obviously a muscly me in the middle there. Not the, the current not so ripped me of, of nearly 40 years of age. But yeah, I, I, this is how I write them out usually when I, when I've started drawing a, yeah, writing down my dream. Like, I'll write all these, you know, the tiny letters, and they're all backwards here, but I'll write it out, and then I'll draw it at the same time. Anything I can remember, I'll draw down, and it just unfolds like a, uh, a piece of paper, actually folded up multiple times, and then on each fold of the paper, there's a new word, and it just keeps going and going until you think. So yeah, another, um, another dream written down. Just with, you know, this is just paint. Uh, sorry, ink, Indian ink with a paintbrush. Places, designs. Oh, the... I tell God now refers to drink and not muscle. Huh, lol. <laughs> oh, I'm just not as ripped as I was back then. I was, um, I was very much into bodybuilding and, and st getting active and exercising every day. Uh, this is a blueprint, part of the blueprint for making a infinite love knot, which you might have seen in the in the challenge trophy video. Um, it's very simple, you know, it's all there in one page. You can pretty much build that fucking thing. Uh, this one, I've got to finish the wall. I've got to finish the wall on this. This is from a dream where I had um, had gone into these mines, and we're trying to take a shortcut through to another area and like all my buddies were there there was like seven of us 
I remember and when I used to be ripped. I don't like M on my FB because been lazy since. <laughs> Um, yeah, in this dream, we traveled under the ground and we thought we were taking a shortcut and we popped out into this large cavern here and there was, a, you know, about 10,000 strong army standing there waiting with their, with their backs to us. They were ready to exit the, um, the cave and so me and my friends decided we would, would take them. <laughs> Seven versus 10,000. Yeah, basically, same, same, a very similar idea. And around the same time, I think I drew this in, it would have been 2003, somewhere around there. So yeah, definitely around the time of uh, the release of Lord of the Rings. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that one. My shield is just covered in bows, I, uh, in arrows, I should say. I haven't finished the shield. But the, and the wall needs all the stones textured on there. I think it was actually made out of solid stone, so I don't think I need to do much more than just rub over the top of it on some concrete just to give it a bit of texture and then fade it out. But, um, yeah, that, that was a cool frickin' dream. Well, it wasn't actually cool, because all my friends died. I had seven friends, and they all fucking died except me. And the magician got away. Fucking cowardly bastard. Ah, skater. Tribute to Mark Sasso, <laughs> who's a, a very well renowned artist in, in paint and superheroes. He did the uh, did quite a few for the Marvel uh, well the yeah, X Men Ultra Fury yeah, ninety five trading card series, which I had the complete set of for a while there. Um yeah, just random drawing with a with a saying which didn't mean anything until like five, ten years ago. The thoughts of today are tomorrow's reality. They sure are. So be careful what you think because it will happen. More drawings, more drawings. I'll, I'll show you the bigger ones of those. Uh, alien dude, alien dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that none of these are finished ones, but they're more finished than the ones I put out. All the all of the basically completed ones are actually sold and gone. I don't have anything but digital copies of them left now, and I'm so sad. Uh, this is more from the book Gates of Nerfall. Oops. Yeah, uh, just the character roots. Bit of paint, bit of colour. Trying to develop a few of the characters. These are actually blown up to um, eight times the size from that drawing at the very beginning. So. Kind of like learning guitar songs and solos. It jumped a new song halfway learning solo. Oh, yeah, because half the time I can't finish them until I've worked out something else in real life. So, this is the same picture over and over again. I'm trying to get the, the right colour schemes. Uh, and I wound up doing it uh, on the... Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I wound up doing it on the computer anyway. So doing it with Photoshop, it's much easier. And you don't waste so much paint and time. And like I said, it's using a digital platform to, to do this sort of art is just phenom phenomenal. But they never come out like they, they do in paint. Paint is oh, so like much cooler. Scheme. Yeah, it's it's pretty mad. It's pretty cool. I do really gaudy, bold, and bright colours. According to most of my um, <laughs> most of my art teachers. Fuck this one up. I use I use the blue on this guy that was was way too blue, <laughs> and I didn't like this guy's fiery, fiery bloody shirt. Um, so I scrapped it, but I'll go, and that's just felt tip though. That is felt tip pen I used on this because I was bored and I had felt tips and I'm like, oh, I'll see if I can draw this one. And I was like looking at it going, fuck, there is way too much brown in this picture. <laughs> Why did I have to draw so much wood, you fucking crazy bastard? Uh, this is a sculptural design for a, um, a village centre uh, in the far north here. They didn't end up buying it. 
Otherwise, I would be uh, a lot richer and I'd be able to stream all day, every day by now. If I'd gotten that commission. But well, actually, I wouldn't be streaming all day, every day. I'd be fucking doing, I'd be doing work. Holy crap, 1998. Jeez. Last robot, I think I called this one. Because it was just a random little scribble that I had to keep drawing over and over again. Saw it in a dream. Well, I, that was me blasting a robot in a dream. Uh, my lovely lady draft fiction photo and stuff. Yes, darling. Oh, hello, buddy. Hello, mister. Well, there's all many up top. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, well. I think we're about done for today because everybody's home and uh, doing that sort of stuff. So Duroc and DWB, thank you for joining me. I will um, continue with my secret project or oh, once more later. Uh, where's my buttons? Uh, be kind to one another and peace. Make it my Batman. Make it my Batman. Hi. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Make it my Batman. Yeah, that would be cool too, man. Well, you're always welcome over here. Hi, little VYP log.